Good morning, everyone. Hi there. Tell them what you had for breakfast. Eggs and butter. Dad, Dad. Eggs and butter. Dad, Dad. Give me five. Too slow. <laughs> he likes to lay his head down like he's taking a nap. He thinks he's hilarious now too. He's really becoming a handful. So we're doing day of eating. Meg is making her coffee. I'm also going to do this ginger shot. Yeah, Meg got a bunch of these weird ginger shot things. I've been into shots lately. Like just like a couple days ago for digestion. And then it was like buy one get one free. And I was like, oh, I'll try the immunity. I'll try the energy. Matt had the firecracker last night. What was the firecracker for? It was dumb. It was for immunity, I think. Super spicy. Does anyone know about, so we don't know about babies, and I keep doing, trying to do reading, but he'll like go off in the corner and cry. And he'll turn around and like yeah. put himself in time out, kind of. Yeah, and like I'm just, me and Matt are sitting on the ground. We're like, come here, come here. And he'll just keep crawling away and turning his back to us and crying. Since we've been looking back at his pictures, there's a funny phenomenon I noticed because like right now I look at him, I'm like, wow, that's a really cute baby. Yeah. But I was looking back when, when he was like six months old, I thought he was cute. But now I look back at those pictures, I was like, oh my gosh, he's not at all cute back then. So maybe we'll look back at this age and be like, oh, he wasn't that cute. No, I think he's cute. So Mega's been making scrapbooks. And the one in particular that we're talking about is this one. Three months old right there. Right? That's when we went home for Thanksgiving. He's my baby though, and I love him to death. Mm, but... Man, what was I thinking? I was like, he is the cutest, yay! And people are probably like, why is she so proud of that little chunky monkey? This is my favorite section, his first foods. That was his actual first food. He was five months. Homemade cappuccino this is my new thing I've been doing. It's just espresso and heavy cream that I use the milk steamer on. So this is probably like a quarter cup of heavy cream, so 200 calories. I'm getting flabby, have you noticed? No, you are not. He says this all the time. And we didn't tell you, Mega ran her 5K. I ran my, I ran my 5K. My brother ran with us. I'll send pictures to you and you can insert them. I'm gonna be training for my 10K now, this week starting. I'll keep you posted. I think I'm gonna run that in like five weeks here. Hello, I'm having a second coffee with some half and half, which is what Matt used this morning. He used all of my half and half. I thought it was heavy cream. That was half and half. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm having right there, a little sweetener. And I am going to just do my planning for the week of recipes because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. I usually like to give Matt a couple options. So tonight we can do either like bell pepper pork rind nachos, no. zucchini lasagna. Those are my options. <laughs> and that's what I usually just like do what I'm in the mood for. Um, okay, what else we can do? Do you want to do something simple? Maybe zucchini lasagna. That sounds kind of good. Here's Theo's Christmas photo. No, that's fall. Oh, it's fall. We're fall doing photo. Separate Christmas. This is how cold it is today. Lunchtime. This is chicken from Whole Foods Mega got me. Yeah, it's a barbecue chicken. It's your favorite. And raspberries. I want you to have a good birthday week meal to start it off. Yeah, you know what I've noticed? Being a early 30s man is let me know if you guys watching this feel the same way when you're sick that's the one thing i really like to just take full advantage of being sick like mega i want you to take care of me bring me stuff i want to watch my shows on the couch are you guys like that at home it used to be our parents and now we don't get to do that well, you fight through it more I just give in immediately. I think the moms or the head of the households fight through it. And I'm reading this really cool article, Nutritional Orthodoxy, When Science Becomes a Belief System. I feel like that sentence says a lot about where we are at, not just nutritionally, but just in the world. He's basically talking about this study, which was like a review of all the data on unprocessed red meat and processed meat consumption, dietary guidelines, review of all the evidence. And apparently the comment section here got really hostile. So it's like people commenting on a scientific paper, other learned people who are also doing studies. Lunch right here. Yesterday when I went to Whole Foods and I got Matt his barbecue chicken, I also got me some of this paleo grilled chicken. So they have a paleo section at Whole Foods, which always has this chicken and like oftentimes a fish and lots of veggies. So I like to get some stuff from there. And then I have some carrots and some cut up bell pepper that I always just like cut up beforehand, wash and then store. So it's just quick to grab. 
And then we have some spicy avocado hummus right there. And this is the hummus that I've been buying. And I've been looking for like a good hummus that I don't have to make. I can just buy that doesn't use sunflower oil because they all use sunflower or canola or soybean, just any other oil except olive oil and these use olive oil not all of them but most of them so this one and then there's a really good thai curry one that i love and we do have a sponsor for today's video it is thrive market and we're going to explore their website real quick i've actually never been to the website meg is the one who handles all of like the online shopping stuff if you join today you do get a free 24 dollar gift just use the link down below in the description of this video and if you're unfamiliar with thrive market what it is is you pay a monthly or a yearly membership fee and then you get access to better quality and cheaper stuff that they sell. It's a lot of stuff that you can't find on like Amazon or in grocery stores. So it is good and it is something we use pretty much monthly. We get a box from them. They have a few things we definitely get every single month and then we're always throwing some new stuff in to try. Oh, and it even tells us like our lifetime savings here. So you can see clearly for us, it's been worth it. Okay, so some cool features they have, you can shop by diet and they do have a ketogenic section here. They even have low FODMAP. They're getting pretty intense here. This is kind of cool, raw. So we generally frequent the paleo and the ketogenic sections. Theo does have a lot of paleo stuff. He's our one-year-old son. Um, but let's see what they got in the keto. So ketogenic section. Okay, so this is all the stuff we've bought in before. This is kind of cool now that I'm on the site. These are really great. They're a little expensive, but I do love these. Only three ingredients, coconut, coconut water, and unrefined coconut oil. Really good ingredients. I love these. They're kind of sweet. They're like lightly sweet. You can do savory or sweet stuff with them. I'm gonna add coconut milk. We always get those. Good price, two bucks. I like the avocado oil spray. And this is Theo's favorite. If you guys don't know about this, it's called coconut butter. Sometimes you'll see it labeled as coconut manna too. Um, but this, Theo loves it. So it's... It's, uh, it's basically just ground up coconut flakes, to my understanding. So yeah, they really have like a lot of, of good options here. They got ghee for a, a pretty good price. Mostly we use it for snacks, but you can also use it as like pantry stuff too. You, they got all your keto friendly sweeteners. You know, they got 25 pages of keto stuff. Mega buys the nuts a lot. They're raw nuts and then she will soak them and dehydrate them. I, I like these sweet leaf stevia drops too. Mega loves these, so maybe I'll get her some of those. These are just uh, creamer that is made with almond milk. I don't use it, but Mega uses it. There's stevia drops, which I use in my coffee. These birch benders, pancake and waffle mix. I like these for the weekends. Oh, and then we just unlocked free shipping for $49 or more per box. We make these on the weekends. They're just not very sweet is the downside to them. So we add a little bit of stevia to them when we make them. So in the paleo section, we look for uh, some snacks that Theo can have. Usually what I'm looking for when it's snacks for Theo, who's a little over one years old, like I don't want it to have tons of nuts. He just started eating nuts. So like I'll check out these, what's in these. So these are grain free. Then the next question is what's actually in them. This is actually what I like to look for, for Theo cassava flour. So cassava is a root vegetable, kind of like I think comparable to a sweet potato in that same category. So that's my preference for snacks that Theo eats. So this is something I would definitely pick up for him to eat. But uh, carbs isn't a huge concern of ours with him either. So like he's not on a low carb diet, anything like that. He just eats natural foods. We also like to check out the pet section because they have some good quality food for the pets. It's crazy the amount of stuff they put in in pet food. So I always try looking for, see like look at that, brown sugar, maple smoke flavor. He, the dog doesn't need that. He just needs meat. These are uh, freeze dried chicken breast. I'll get one of those. Oh, so we get these Serenity Kids pouches. These are really good. It's sweet potato, water, grass fed beef, kale, and really good ingredients. So that is our total. There's all the things we're getting. Link below, you get a $24 free gift if you sign up today. Check out Thrive Market, and if any of you guys are currently already using it, comment below, let us know what you think. Everyone likes hearing opinions on things to decide if they should go for it or not, so just comment down below. And thanks to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. I'm having a snack, I'm having a Marigold bar, four net carbs, and I'm having these. Mega gets me these, I kinda like them, they're refreshing, peppermint. Tivana. All right, guys, it is only 3.30, but I'm about to, to prep dinner so that it's ready to go by the time I have to take Theo to swim class. So I used this mandolin peeler or just mandolin to slice the zucchini really thin. You could also use a knife to get it this thin for sure, or you can do just like the rounds. I'm going to salt them and let them sit for five to seven minutes, and then I'm going to pat them dry and do the other side, and that will remove 
a lot of the moisture because zucchini is like 100% water, I think, something, something like that. Removing the excess moisture and water will make sure that our zucchini lasagnas in these little trays, I'm doing individual servings, it'll make sure that no water just like pulls at the bottom. And for the other ingredients, I'm gonna be using this Rouse homemade marinara sauce that I got, some sweet Italian sausage that we got in our butcher box. And then I already made the cheese mixture. This is ricotta, parmesan, and fresh basil. So it's only been like four minutes and you can already see, look how much water has pooled to the top. A little sauce in the bottom and then there's the zucchini right on top. And then on top of the zucchini is the meat sauce. And then I'm gonna put this on top of the meat and then just do another layer of that. And I will show you the final product. I had some extra zucchini so I put it on top. And this one is a little more full. So Theo will definitely be eating from this one. I also pulled out some sweet Italian sausage after it was cooked. In case Theo doesn't love the lasagna, then he, at least he can have some of this on the side. And then I'm just gonna pop these in the fridge and then when I'm out swimming, Matt will get to pop them in the oven at 350 for like 30 minutes. I guess cutting Theo's rat tail. I just do a little like every other day and he doesn't know what's happening. Mega and Theo are back from swimming lessons. Yeah. How'd it go? It went really good. It's his favorite thing in the world. I got bad news. What? When I went to put the lasagna in the oven, one of them spilled. <laughs> really? Yeah. How? How was swimming lessons? Yay! Yeah. It is 6 p.m. and it's pitch black outside. One of the benefits of daylight savings time. Good system. Can you tell um, which one uh, I dropped? Uh. <laughs> Look at this skinny deal. Oh, man. Dad did a number on that one. But this one looks really good. Thank you. If you guys want the recipe, link down below. It's on our food blog. My digestion yeah. shot. It's basically just ginger. No. Which I don't know if ginger even helps with digestion. And thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link below. Why are you taking that one? Give me the... This one is more so you can no. give Theo for me. Be careful. It's not that hot, baby. Mega's giving me the fresh, awesome looking one. We're done with dinner and it was excellent. I think it was really good and it was fun to eat single serve style. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars, rank them. <laughs> oh my Holy goodness. Holy shit, dude. Pizza Hut, that? Domino's, Little Caesars. <laughs> I've never had Little Caesars though. What about you? Domino's, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars. Whoa, what happened here, babe? What? Oh my, what the heck? Our house is falling apart. I'm having one of these. It's a built bar. They're not that good, but they're okay once in a while. They're really fake tasting. And I'm having this. I'm having this collagen protein bar from Bulletproof. I really like these ones. They're a little higher carb, but they're super tasty. And this chocolate chip one is the bomb. They're good. I'm just sitting Indian style in the middle of the living room. Whoa, you're getting really good. And we can't say Indian style anymore. Have you been practicing? I realize it's a lot about, like you just gotta, if you do this a few times and you lean forward, you kind of train yourself. You should uh, do a, a series on learning how to sit Indian. You could do a lot of series on stuff. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Bye, thank you, 32.